Tom, huge excitement about the place, the European Cup semi-final, yeah, as players, as fans, as whatever. It's something to get excited about, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, obviously. We've never been here as a club before, so it's uh, obviously something to be excited about and there's a huge challenge in Toulouse, so we're just looking forward to, to getting going. We cast our mind back to La Rochelle in that first week. It set the tone, really, didn't it, for what we wanted to do in Europe this season. We just knocked it on, knocked it on culminating in last week's quarter-final, taking us to where we are now. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, I mean, we, we, we did what we wanted to uh, in our group in Europe and now now it's all in our hands. We got to the quarter-final last week, obviously, and then we're in the semis this week. So we're, yeah, we're in a strong position, but obviously knockout rugby is knockout rugby, so you've got to turn up on the day and, and win, otherwise it's, uh, it's, it's all over. You've lived and played in France. Toulouse, they are one of the forces of European rugby. What can we expect? I think they're quite typical of a French team, big pack. Uh, they've got they got a star-sided team, they've got great players across the board. Uh, they'll look, just look to, to, to get momentum through their big boys um, and they, they're they like an offload. So um, I think it would be definitely a good challenge and uh, one, uh, a, a challenge that we're looking to overcome and to try and stop their, to try and stop their threats at source. Tom, I spoke to Rob this morning and said it's like a who's who when you look at their list of names in their squad but equally people look at the Chiefs now and say it's a who's who of, of Stardust players there isn't it you know it shows the strides the club have made in recent years in particular that you know we're a force ourselves yeah of course I mean I don't think we've got as many big names as, as Toulouse but, but I mean nonetheless they um, yeah obviously the club's in a, in a great position there's obviously loads of boys playing international rugby for different countries and um, um, yeah we're, we're, we're looking good but um, yeah, obviously Toulouse have got a lot, a lot of uh, good players, but we're, we're not afraid of the challenge. And the standards you've set yourself in recent seasons and in recent weeks, last week was a win, you got through, but you felt there was probably still a bit more in you. Are we going to see that this week? You know, are we going to so, crack yeah. it up again? I hope so. Obviously, we felt like we were a bit within ourselves last week. We could have, uh, I mean, Northampton, Northampton came and they, they gave it to us, but I think we could have, we didn't really hit our stride, and I, I, we, we know that, um, but we're really looking to do it this week so hopefully uh, we can just let loose and get and, into them. And the experience of playing knockout rugby and big games, semi-finals, finals, all of which you guys have been doing a lot of in recent times, how much is that going to be important going into this weekend? Yeah, I think it's invaluable, I mean I mean, a, a lot of boys have played in those big games, everyone everyone in the, in, in the team so um, having that experience is, is, is invaluable and I think wins or losses in the past, I think it's, it's, it's great to uh, to add to, it all just helps in adding to the experience and hopefully we can come through the, the challenges of knockout rugby this weekend and, and weekends moving forward. And from a playing perspective, how disappointing is it you can't share these big moments with friends, family, whatever, the fans, you know, we're yeah, playing I mean, behind closed doors still. Yeah, it's very, very disappointing. Um, yeah, it, it is. Uh, unfortunately, it is what it is, but yeah, it's disappointing. It would oh. be nice to be able to, to play here in front of the... Uh, good crowd and the family here but I am. Uh, you played a premiership final do you dare to dream what a European final could be like? Well, there'll probably be no crowds there <laughs> <laughs> but we just got to get through uh, this weekend first and uh, then see, what, see what's what. And what sort of threat will they be? You talked about it you know you could be up against the likes of Cheslin Colby and yeah, Thomas mean, Ramos people like that. Yeah I mean we know what they're going to bring they're going to they've got players that can light up a game pretty quickly um, but um, we're just going to try and try and stop them, and we believe we can. Brilliant. Thanks for that.